Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel! My channel. Peter! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Bam! And a bam, and a bam, and a bam of <laughs> review stuff. And I am back for another review. This is my last holiday <laughs> Starbucks drink review before Christmas, I think. <laughs> I might do one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find one to do. But this is my last official Starbucks um, review. Today I'm going to review their caramel brulee latte or whatever it is. If I can ever get through the line, there's like 15 cars in front of me. I did not plan out my day very well today. Let me just tell you, okay, the things that I have to do today. Um, I already made a list. I got my first one done. That was go to Costco, okay? That was such a trip. I will tell you, do not go to Crisco. Crisco. <laughs> Don't do that either. Don't go to Costco to get Crisco on the 23rd of December because everybody and their mother is there shopping with carts full of family size ketchups and croissants and everything else. And it was madness in that place today. And even just getting into the parking lot was like crazy town. Okay. So I have that. I had that to do. I have to go to Menards to buy a Christmas present. I have to go to Meyer to buy a Christmas present, which I might see if my good Judy Tiny Jean wants to go to Meyer later, and we'll just cut those two off the list. Um, I have to buy two gift cards at two different places, because one of them I can't get. Um, it's a golf gift card thing. So I have to actually go to this golf place to get the gift card. So that's the next gift thing I have to do. Um, I th this is this is my attempt for you guys to feel bad for me. Okay, and then I have to buy a dessert for Christmas Day, which I'm buying cupcakes. I think this year, so that each person can have their own individual dessert. Then I have to go to the PO box um, before they close today. Then I have to wrap all of my presents. <laughs> um, I have to go to Saks because there's something that I want to pick up there for my husband. Then I'm going to make special dinners for Boo, Radley, and Tucker, my little pups. So I have to get chicken and rice. I got a, a recipe. Sweet potatoes, carrots, green beans, and bananas. <laughs> I have to get all of that because I'm making a special dinner for my dogs uh, for Christmas. And then um, I have to do um, all of my Christmas cameos so that people get their cameos <laughs> in time for Christmas. So that's my day today, okay? What is my husband doing today? Well, he is um, giving his Christmas present to his grandma with his mom and his cousin. And then they're going out to dinner. And he goes, I'm just going to get out of your hair so you can get all this stuff done. <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot. You get to go have a bunch of fun, and I get to go do all this stuff to get ready for Christmas. My cousin and I were talking about that on the phone today, about, like, getting ready for Christmas, you know? So, anyway, those are the things that I am doing today, and now I'm trying to get through this line. The line is actually moving pretty fast. Um... Now, when I say this is my last holiday drink of the year, I actually can't believe that I haven't reviewed this one. I started by reviewing the iced uh, sugar cookie uh, latte. Didn't like it. Then I reviewed the peppermint latte just the other day. And that was pretty good. And now I'm going to be doing the caramel brulee latte or whatever. So... I'm excited about it. Are you excited to see it? Okay. Well, you're going to have to wait a minute or two because I still got... Um, you know, this is actually the um, Starbucks that I came to last year when they had all of the special holiday drinks. Do you guys remember that? That they had like special holiday drinks that their baristas came up with on a daily basis. But I don't think that they did that this year because... Um, yeah, people are moving now. Come on, people. Come on. Let's go. And don't call people people. It's rude. I had a teacher that used to do that. People. Sh people. We were in, like, fifth grade. Calling us people in fifth grade. Anyway. <laughs> rude. She's not a Christian. Anyway. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I bet it's because they don't have a lot of the ingredients um, that they usually have every year at Starbucks. Which, you know, isn't their fault. So, all right. Um... This person in front of me is like, they think if they inch even a little bit closer, like I'm doing right now, <laughs> that'll make them move faster. Okay, I will be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. This car in front of me, there's like five people in the car, and they are all <laughs> ordering these very extravagant drinks. Um, but I have to tell you, what I just realized pulling up here when I was looking at their Starbucks Share Holiday Cheers drinks is that I have not reviewed again this year the Irish Cream Cold Brew. So depending on 
what my day is like tomorrow on Christmas Eve if I get up and I'm like, let's go do a review. Review, review, review. Bam, 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 bam. I wish like tonight I was in New York City and I had my own one person. My one person, hold on a second. Fan flipping show. It's Peter Winter Wonderland Extravaganza with Peter. I wish that was me, and I was putting on my uh, Christmas show today. Oh my God, my Christmas extravaganza! And I would have reindeer, and it was it would, uh, and then I would do like the very last scene of a Christmas Carol, and I would play all the parts. You know, I'd play Ebenezer Scrooge and Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. I would play all the parts, you know. But then it would snow on stage. Oh my God, when I was a kid, we would go see the Christmas Carol. I would always go see the Christmas Carol with my mom. And um, it always snowed on stage, and I loved it so much. That was my favorite part of the, oh my God. But anyway, I wish I was uh, doing a Christmas show. What I re really wish was that these girls could get their drink orders in. There are 15 drink orders that they're doing so that we could <laughs> move a little faster through the line here. Come on, come on, people, come on, people. And um, then I could, uh, you know, do my Christmas show in New York City. And right now, I'd be like in makeup, getting looking pretty. <laughs> And you guys would all be coming to my show. Wouldn't that be fun? And then we would serve Starbucks drinks in the intermission. And you could go out there and you get your hot peppermint hot chocolate and things like that. Oh, my God. I'm like, I really honestly wouldn't have turned on the camera if I thought it was going to take this long. And now she's irritated and she's asking 15 questions because they don't have the ingredients that she wants. She's not happy about it. And she's looking in the rearview mirror at her friend. That's when the friend goes, oh, let's have a water. I'll let's have a water. She wants a something iced chi, chai latte, and she's asking him if he has pumpkin something. Is it pumpkin crumble? <laughs> no, she, no, she wants the pumpkin crumble, or is it out of season? Her friend in the back seat's asking. <laughs> Do you hear this? They've literally asked 22 questions. <laughs> oh, she said, never mind. Real rude. <laughs> now she said, no, so no pumpkin crumble. He goes, no pumpkin crumble. She goes, never mind. <laughs> now she's just still sitting there. Oh, she's ordering more drinks. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my God. Girl, I ain't got time for this today. Listen, I got things to do up in this house, okay? Come on. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have turned the camera back on. I know I shouldn't have, but. Get it, honey. <laughs> I woke on a Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Can I get a grande caramel brulee latte, please? Alrighty. Anything else for you today? Nope. That's it. Alrighty. Five oh, seventy-two. Just double. You don't have you don't have the pumpkin crumble, do you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. I had to because the car in front of me. Hello. Uh, yes. That was a joke. I'm, okay, thank oh. you. <laughs> How could two people in a row order the pumpkin crumble and he, he doesn't know that that's a joke? Anyway, now I feel bad. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I think, I think it's my turn. These gals in front of me have single-handedly closed down the line at Starbucks with their, I mean, I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. they ridiculous drinks. How are you? Good. Uh, can I pay for the people behind me as well? Uh, yes, give me one more. Okay. I just wanted to pay for the people behind me as well. Sure thing. Uh, give us a second. Messes with our system. Oh, if you, it's okay. Then I don't have to do that. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I'm trying so hard to be a patient and good person today. <laughs> Oh well, I guess it's the thought that counts. <laughs> they said it messes with their system, so I'm not gonna do that. Hard 
I don't need that, I'm good. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Have a good one. Okay. Lord. I think they were put over the edge by those girls that were ordering 400 drinks. <laughs> I think that's what the deal was there. All right. <laughs> After much talk, let's try <laughs> the caramel brulee latte of the world. <laughs> Here we go. It's delicious, turn it off. <laughs> Mm, it's good. I think I tried this last year, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know what I said last year. Did I review this already this year? <laughs> oh, God. If I went through all this and I reviewed it already this year. This is very smoky. And like a Gouda. Like a good Gouda. <laughs> if a cheese were a coffee, it would be this. <laughs> um, It's good. It has like a hint of like a pecan or praline in it. Maybe a chestnut. A chestnut. Oh, roasted chestnut latte. That's what they should have called it, but they didn't. They called it the caramel brulee. It really, um, other than like the burnt effect, that would remind me of like the smoky kind of gives me kind of brulee. I'm not a big brulee fan, are you? Like for dessert, I'm not. Um, it almost kind of feels like a waste of a dessert to me. My mom loved it though back in the day. Um, yeah, I would give this, this is delicious. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> so there you go. After that much-weighted review, 4.5 out of 5. This isn't going to be around much longer. So if you want it, I mean, it's like the pumpkin crumble. It comes and it goes. So if you want this, you better go try it now. It's pretty good. All right, you guys. Um, I, here's my real coffee right here from the Keurig. I love you guys. And today I'm drinking Barney's A White Christmas. So anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.